Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a, a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever is good with you and just you know put the rest of it aside. If ever you would like to have some information about having your own personal reading you can contact me. All my information is right below into the, the description box. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated and I do Thank you in advance. So that being said, um, we are just going to get to this reading here. So this is a channeled reading. It's a channeled reading with your past loved ones. It's with your spirit guides. It's with guardian angels. This is about you. This is about warnings that they have for you onto your path. So um, let's turn these over. This reading is destined to the sign of Gemini. So let's begin. We are going to be speaking about blame. We're also going to be speak, speaking about forgiveness, about regret, and about worries. So let's begin with blame. This is about accepting responsibility for your well-being. It is so easy to give away the power to transform your life. And certainly, you know, there has been people along your path who have shaped you into who you are today. But I have to say you are solely responsible for your own happiness. The ego can be a very, very fragile thing and if it comes under fire, the first instinct is to blame an outside force. It's what we do. So a victim of consciousness, it weakens the connection that you have to your soul, to your soul source. Now, this mindset says that, you know, I don't have the power inside myself to break free because someone else's power is stronger. Now, that is simply an illusion. When you believe that someone else is responsible for your problems, that belief is the actual problem. Personal responsibility can empower you to change your reality. A lasting transformation always begins on the inside and works its way out. There really is a difference between a reason and an excuse. So a reason is valid and it's unavoidable. An excuse is an attempt to shift that blame. Moving on over to your following message and we're going to be speaking here about forgiveness. This is acknowledging that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. You can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate, of anger, of intolerance, or even of blame. Every soul in your path has free will and you have to control over that. You have no control over it. What you do have control over though is how you react to the manifestations of others free wills. So holding on to that negative energy is only going to strengthen the karmic cycles and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person that you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love and that attracts all good things into your life. So you need to forgive yourself. You need to clear that path. That is unnecessary debris. Let's move on over to regret. This is about knowing that you cannot change the past. Your past loved ones want you to know that the soul, it just doesn't know time. It doesn't. Time is a construct of the physical dimension. To your soul, there's only one big now. You need to think of the past as the now that has already been created and the future as the now that has not yet been created. You don't have the power to uncreate the past. So what you need to do is let go. Your power of creation it lies in your awareness of your present moment. Your spirit guides want you to acknowledge, want you to remember that you have the power to not only create your future, but also create acceptance of your past. 
you should realize that you are the total summation of every single experience that you have had. These experiences have helped shape you into the person that you are today. You need to train yourself not to judge past events as good or as bad, but as opportunities. What have you learned from the past that will enrich your future? Focusing on the past and letting it dictate the direction of your future is taking your power away from yourself. And you are the creator. You are the creator of your own world. You hold that power. Reflect on the lessons of the past and use your current power to create your bright future. And the following message that I do have is about worry. This is about learning that worry does not change an outcome. Your past loved ones want you to know and want you to realize and remember that worry is a wasted emotion. It does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. And when you expand too much energy worrying, it limits you and it has an adverse effect on the natural energy of the soul. So worrying, what does it do? It destroys the hope, it destroys the faith and excitement that are wonderful elements of this fantastic schoolroom that we called Earth. You need to remember that you are what you think and you have the power to create positive thoughts which beget positive outcomes. Worry is a negative emotion and it sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worries are you carrying around with you now? Examine them objectively into the light of love. Help your soul by releasing them and be fully connected to the current moment, which is where your power really does reside. Moving on forward to your message from your guide. Everyone has value. No one is greater, no one is lesser than your beautiful soul, you. It is a natural instinct for humans to judge, but you, you must remember that. At the core, we are all the same. We may look different, we've created different journeys for ourselves, but we all have something remarkable in common. We have all chosen this dimension at this time to incarnate together. The energy of spirit is absolutely infinite, but there is a finite number of souls that are inhabiting physical vessels on earth, and you are one of them. So everyone that you know, everyone that you pass on the street, everyone that you see on the news, they are all your brothers or all your sisters. Someone may be on a different path than you, but you must understand that they are playing their part, like you're playing your part. Judgment is an aspect of fear. Your job is to love everyone as you love yourself. Some souls have chosen really difficult incarnations that may or may not involve you. Bless them on their path instead of sending them negative energy of judgment to them as a further hindrance. And that, my dear friend Gemini, does conclude your beautiful reading with your past loved ones and uh, heaven. So that does conclude your reading. If you do have any questions, you would like a reading, my information is right below in the description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow.